What's up graphic designers? In today's class, you're going to be reimagining and remixing your favorite logos with new color schemes using the brush tool, which is what we've been experimenting with over the last few days, and a new selection tool called the magic wand tool. So we're going to talk about the magic wand tool in a moment. But first, let's play with colors in this target logo. I'm going to press Command Shift N to create a new layer. I'm going to press B for brush. And then I'm going to want to maybe uh, change this red outer ring to a nice blue. How am I doing? Not amazing. You're right. This is not incredible. So I'm going to press Command Z and we're going to shift gears. We're going to hop into this layer and I'm going to talk a little bit about the magic wand tool. So we've got the move tool, the very top on the uh, toolbar. And if we drift down, we're going to find the magic wand tool. And if you don't see it when you're looking at Photoshop, simply right click and you'll probably find the object selection tool are there listed. And so if we right click that, these are all context sensitive. We can pull up the magic tool. So um, how does the magic wand tool work? Well, it selects an area based on color. So for example, if I click on Meg's hat, you'll notice that just the pink is selected. If I click on the black of Brian's nose, just that area is selected. If we select Peter's eye, just his eye, his tongue, his face, uh, Lois's hair, and so on and so forth. That makes sense, right? So let's uh, hop back to this target logo. And now what I'm going to do is actually you guys check this out. If I click once, you'll notice the whole screen is selected. Like the perimeter of this image is selected. Why, why is that happening? Yeah, good point. We're not on the right layer. So I'm simply going to press command D to deselect. And then I'm going to drift down to layer two. That's like that uh, kind of like the background layer. Now, if I left click now, you'll notice that now the circle is selected. So if I press B, I can go ahead and fill this in. And if I right click and increase the size, okay, that's much easier. Oh, oh that's much more efficient. And that looks that looks pretty cool, right? I'm going to press Command plus to zoom in. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the T for target. And if I hold Shift, we can select multiple areas at once. And I'm going to press Command Shift N, Enter. And I'm going to do this, this part in a new layer. All right, so I'm going to... Let's make the middle white. Actually, yeah, let's try this. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Droz, you made the whole thing white. And that's true. You're right. And that's okay. And maybe we'll make the top like a purplish. And let's see what happens. That looks pretty cool right there. And then let's make the bottom maybe a lime green or whatever. It's not that serious. Whoa, that looks kind of incredible. And if we don't love this, we could always delete it. Alternatively, because it's on its own layer, we can shift this around. We can press E for eraser, and we can sort of, I'm just erasing through it. We can do a little bit of this, right click. We can increase the size of the eraser, and uh, we can boost it even more, drop down the hardness, and now I'm simply erasing through. Alternatively, if we wanted to increase the size or rotate, we could do that as well. We can do all sorts of fun stuff. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited with uh, seeing how you guys Remix logos of your choice.